Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you. You want to know how to open up that door? Sure. Okay, let's start. Step one. You see the handle right there? Yeah. Take a hold of it with one of your hands. Like this? That's the spirit. And step two. Open the door by pulling it. Oh! What is this? Gosh, this. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, man. Now go out there and show the world that you know how to open a door. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. If you are a student who needs a little help, someone to talk to, or just hang out, you can come to Tiger Advisory with Mr. Harrelson and Mr. Robles. What is Tiger Advisory? Tiger Advisors are meaning that we're student support specialists. We're here to help students uh, be with social concerns, emotional concerns, school concerns. Um, we've helped students uh, with uh, understanding how to get support in their academics, how to follow through with extracurricular needs. So we're, we're here to support students. Where is Tiger Advisory? We are in room 704 in the L building. And what else do you do? So we have a group on RTI um, where we just, we want to let others know about some of the events that are happening. So we have a group of students that come in and make posters. If you are a club on campus or a coach and uh, would like some advertisement, Feel free to reach out to Ms. Harrelson and I, and we will get our uh, the Tiger Maniacs to create some posters for you guys. Uh, we love to do it, students love to do it, so uh, hit us up. All vibes are welcome in our room. You can come here for any reason. This is definitely a place where you can go to get happier, uh, feel better about what's going on, um, help with connecting with your parents, help connect with counselors and teachers, and that overall we're just here to support the students. Our job here is, again, to support you guys. We're here for you guys. Uh, we help you connect with others, help you connect with, with students, teachers, uh, your administrators. Um, also, during lunch, come check us out. Um, there's games, puzzles, and stuff like that. So if it's hot outside, uh, I know the temperature's nice now, but um, if your friend is not here during lunch, come and hang out, Tiger Support Room. Hey guys, so if Tigers, if, if you or maybe you know somebody else that could use uh, just a moment or maybe somebody to talk to, uh, please have them, have them come down to, the, to our Tiger Support Room and just check us out. A um, place we can decompress, chill for a moment, or talk if you need to. Everything's confidential um, unless you talk about uh, self-harm or harming somebody else or somebody trying to harm you. All right? Otherwise, everything's confidential. Look forward to seeing you, and take care, Tigers. Statistically, what is American's favorite Thanksgiving side dish? Side dish? Yes. Macaroni and cheese? Probably mac and cheese. Um, potatoes and gravy? It's stuffing. Stuffing? Yeah. Way better. Good. I like that. <laughs> no, it's stuffing. Why is everybody using macaroni and cheese? Now? Because it's better. No, it's stuffing. Dang it, I was gonna say that. <laughs> and I was like, it's too Which president made turkey pardoning an annual event? Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the treasurer of Key Club. I'm super excited to tell you all about our newest fundraiser. This Thursday, November 18th, we'll be having a dinner night out at Barrow's Pizza. It's the location on Dysart and Camelback. Be sure to mention that you're with Key Club when you check out. We can't wait to see you there. What's up, Tigers? Wristbands will be on sale starting Monday for the upcoming fall dance concert, November 8th through December 3rd in the bookstore for $5 a piece. And at the door, it'll be $7 each night of the concert. There are no exchanges or refunds on the wristbands. Doors open at 6 p.m. and the show starts at 6.30 p.m. in the MHS Auditorium. Please join us for an evening of dance featuring our Dance 1, Dance 3, Dance Club, and Roar Dance Company. You don't want to miss it. Hi, I'm Mr. Sheets, and welcome to my crib, J506. Hi, 
All right, I think the first thing everybody notices when they enter my room is probably the lighting. Uh, I try to keep it dimmed down a little bit to keep students a little more calm, and maybe uh, avoid some of the headaches students might get from spending all day under fluorescent lights. And also it keeps students from getting a little too distracted by the plethora of decorations I have, and it keeps them focused on what I have, whatever I'm doing on the board for the day. Um, as you walk in, my first wall here, you'll see I've kind of got my wall of memes. I think history is uh, an extremely serious subject, but it's also important that people be able to laugh at it. Um, and as we kind of continue through the room, it'll be kind of less a tour of my decorations and more a tour of decorations and things that have been gifted to me by friends and coworkers here at Millennium. I've got a, a series of maps here. Some are actually from history uh, and some are from video games. It always cracks me up. I've had some students ask me where these locations are and then I have to break their heart by telling them that it's a video game it's from Skyrim. Um, I'm a huge nerd. Obviously, I've got Skyrim posters, Hamilton. Um, I've got my Game of Thrones banners all up along the wall. Those were all given to me by uh, Mr. Williams. He was my religions teacher when I was a student here at Millennium. He also gave me my uh, Declaration of Independence and Constitution over here. I've got a sword and shield on the wall. I don't know who gave those to me. Whoever had this classroom before me just left those behind. So it became uh, immortalized on my wall. And if you look at my staff picture on the Millennium website, I'm probably holding those. Uh, I was given this, the 95 Theses, uh, which you maybe learned about in world history if you've already had it, or you can learn about it in my world religions class. That was given to me by Mr. Doppel, who was my senior English teacher. Um, of course, my favorite moment in American history is when Abraham Lincoln led the Union to victory by riding a T-Rex into the Deep South. That's totally what happened. I'm a history teacher, I wouldn't lie to you. Um, I keep my German flag and American flag on the wall because I'm a dual citizen. I was born in Germany, a citizen of both nations, so I try to keep both represented in my classroom. Uh, I got a whiteboard. Everybody's got one of those, though. So let's mosey on over to my corner over here. This is where all my most prized possessions are. You can see my uh, Pop Funkos. I got a Skyrim one up here. We've got uh, the cast of Hamilton. Almost every single Lord of the Rings Pop Funko. We got some of the Star Wars ones down here. Um, I've got a globe that I inherited from uh, an old world history teacher who's not here anymore. Oh, I almost forgot the most important piece of my classroom is my red swing line stapler from the movie Office Space. Uh, let's see, I've got my uh, wall of um, you know, American inclusion as well as newspaper uh, events throughout American history. And of course, my student painted Peppa Pig, which I promised to keep up for at least three years, and I'm on my third right now, so we'll see if it stays up another year after. Maybe it'll get replaced by another student's artwork. And then, probably last but not least, are the two couches, which also were gifted to me by uh, Mr. Schmedeke. He didn't have space for them anymore, and so it just kind of added to the casual tone of the classroom. Uh, that's about it. That's about the entire classroom. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Now, get on out of here.